welcome back to another video anna here and we are bringing back the league of sims series which is a series where i decide to bring the league of legends champions into the sims 4 because i don't know i really like the universe i watched arcane over the holidays and i was very inspired to create more sims that are from the game league of legends so here we are we are going to be making caitlin today and i also want to read her bio to you guys as well but i want to do the little intro right here and uh let you guys know that this is our caitlin and i hope you really like how she turned out and i will have a link in the description below for you to download her fully or you can also find her on the gallery under anna builds which i also build and create sims i guess so that name is a little weird but don't worry about it and i'm glad to be back making more content hopefully more consistently so make sure you subscribe and like the video if you haven't yet let's get into caitlin the sheriff of piltover born into a wealthy and influential merchant clan caitlin caraman swiftly learned the social graces of life in piltover but preferred to spend her time in the wilder lands outside it equally adept at mingling with the moneyed elite of the city of progress or stalking a deer through the mud of the forest she could confidently track a bird on the wing over the merchant districts or put a shot through the eye of a hare at 100 paces with her father's repeater musket. Caitlin's greatest assets, however, were her intelligence and willingness to learn from her parents, who reinforced her understanding of right and wrong, even within a life of comfort and privilege. Her mother was one of the highest comptrollers in Clan Caraman and would always warn Caitlin of Piltover's seductions and its gilded promises that could harden the kindest heart. At first, Caitlin paid little heed, to her, Piltover was a place of beauty and order that she cherished after each trip into the wild. All that was to change one progress day some years later. Caitlin returned to find her home ransacked and empty. The family retainers were all dead, and there was no trace of her parents. Caitlin secured the house and immediately set out to find them. Tracking within the confines of a city was very different from hunting in the wild. But one by one, Caitlin located the thugs who had invaded her family home. The trail eventually led her to a hidden safe house where her mother and father were being tortured for information. She rescued them under cover of darkness and alerted the Piltover wardens, though not one of the kidnappers they arrested knew the identity of the individual who had hired them, only a proxy with the initial C. Caitlin and her parents began to rebuild their lives, but something fundamental had changed. Her mother in particular could no longer face the politics and duplicity of clan life and gave up her prestigious role leaving something of a vacuum in the Kiraman leadership. And though she loved her parents dearly, Caitlin had no desire to take her mother's place, nor to learn her father's trade as an artificer. Instead, her focus turned toward breaking through the web of intrigue surrounding the mysterious sea. Utilizing her hunting skills, she established herself as a private investigator and quickly made a name for herself as someone who could find anything or anyone. In recognition of her self-made success, Caitlin's parents crafted her a Hextech rifle of exquisite artifice with greater accuracy than any musket. The weapon could take a variety of specialized shells and be easily modified in the field. After a particularly traumatic case involving a missing Hextech device and a series of child abductions, Caitlin was summoned by the wardens. She had been recommended by one of their number, who had also developed something of an affinity for stranger cases, and their battle with a host of rogue chimerics in the employ of a lunatic chem researcher driven mad by his own concoctions led to her being offered a formal position as a sheriff. At first, Caitlin refused, but eventually came to realize that the warden's resources could potentially get her closer to discovering the true identity of C. Caitlin has since become a highly respected officer within the ranks of the wardens, always striving to make the city of progress a better and safer place. She recently partnered with a new recruit from Zahn, the brash and reckless Vi. How such an unlikely pairing came about and been proven so effective is a subject of wild rumor and tavern speculation among their fellow wardens, as well as those they haul away to jail. What Caitlin doesn't know, however, is that C is also keeping tabs on her, especially as her investigations bring her ever closer to the truth. And that's it. That's her bio. I hope you guys liked her story and are liking how she turned out. I did end up doing all of her outfits for this one. I think in the first League of Sims videos, I kind of forgot to do the other outfits, but I thought, well, if people are going to download these, I probably should do all the outfits. So you will see that I kind of just used a lot of purple and gold and yellow. I think that was kind of like her vibe. So I went with 
those colors and hopefully she turned out all right let me know what you think and if you want to download her i will have links to all the cc i use too on her if you want to download them separately and also have a link to the sim itself that you can download with all the cc included as well and i think it was quite interesting with her story because like i never actually read her biography previously and now after watching arcane i'm like oh it, it makes sense and it's like oh i wonder why vi and her became friends and it's like you watch that happen in arcane so highly recommend that show even if you're not a league fan it's a very good story and if you are a league fan it's even more better because you'll be able to relate a lot of things from the game to the show really really good i think the next league of sims character i want to make is probably vi i don't know if i was gonna do arcane or not mm, maybe i didn't we're gonna do vi but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get arcane version of her because like with Caitlyn, I also couldn't find like an arcane version of her either in her newer outfit, but the hat was new. So like the outfit was old, but the hat was a new piece of CC. So maybe there's something out there uh, by next week when I do Vi. So stay tuned if you want to see how she turns out. And then after that, I also want to do Jace because I want to do like the ones from the show kind of first and then probably do polls and see which ones you guys want to see me do next. So leave me a comment. Let me know if there's any uh, champions you want to see me uh, showcase. I'm planning to do plenty of these as I can and look forward to other content as well. I'm going to be starting some Sims 3 series and fun stuff very soon as well. So if you're at all interested in that, make sure you subscribe and pay attention to notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time.